Hello to all my wonderful members of my church family here at Cunningham United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Graham, and if we haven't had the chance to meet yet, I'm your new pastor. It's wonderful that you can join me here for our midweek worship service today. What this service is, is you haven't had a chance to join us yet, is a quick time of reflection on scripture and prayer to God meant to put a little bit of worship into the middle of our week. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, and it only lasts 10 to 15 minutes each week. To begin, I want to share part of a hymn to you. This hymn is going to be the basis of our prayer today. The hymn is, We have a story to tell the nations, and the chorus goes like this. For the darkness shall turn to dawning, and the dawning to noonday bright, and Christ's great kingdom shall come on earth, the kingdom of love and light. Won't you pray with me? God, send your kingdom of love and light onto this earth. For the night seems like it's lasting so long right now. But God, we know that your kingdom will come and a new day will dawn. And all the darkness in our hearts and our lives will disappear. And we will have joy with you again. God, come. Send your kingdom now. And may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The reason our prayer talks so much about the kingdom of God and the reason I shared that hymn with you is because today our scripture reading that I want to share with you focuses a lot on the second coming of Christ, when God's kingdom will fill the whole world and when our salvation will be made complete. The scripture reading is this, Matthew 25, verses 14 through 23. It goes like this. For it will be like that, when a man going on a journey calls together all his servants and entrusts his property to them. To one of them he gives five bags of gold, and to another two, and to another one, each according to what he believes is their ability. And then he goes away. The one who received five bags of gold went at once and traded, so he made five more. And the one who had, made, who had been given two bags of gold traded as well and made two bags more. But the one who had received the one bag of gold went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now after a long time, the masters of those servants came and settled their accounts with them. And the one who received the five bags of gold came forward, bringing five more bags, saying, Master, you delivered to me five bags. Here, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little I will now set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he who also had the two talents, the two bags of gold, came forward and said, Master, you have delivered to me two bags, and here I deliver back to you two more. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Since the beginning of the church... Since the New Testament was written down, and even before that, when all these stories were happening, when all the stories of Paul and the apostles going out into the world, when all that was taking place, up till now, it's been said that we're living in the between time. The time in between the resurrection and death of Jesus and his second coming. The time between when our salvation truly began and was accomplished and the time when it's all going to be finished. In the Bible, they thought it was going to come right away. Paul at one point points out that he thinks it's coming in a few weeks. We've all been wrong before. But nonetheless, we live and we wait for that time to come. And that's what our scripture reading today is about waiting for the coming of Jesus to come again and finish redeeming us and redeeming the world. Sometimes it's a long wait. And sometimes, 
just like how the master went away in that story, sometimes it feels like Jesus has been gone a pretty long time. Sometimes it feels like he's almost not here at all. This pandemic has been rough for all of us. It's not been easy, and quite frankly, I think we're all pretty tired of it. I'm sure some days it doesn't even seem like God is close. It seems like God has gone far away, and we have to wait for God to come back. But what are we going to do while we're waiting? What do we do while we wait for God to come back? Are we going to be like the one servant who got one bag of gold? He buried the bag of gold in the ground and did nothing. Or are we going to be like the other servants who were given a lot of responsibility and a smaller amount of responsibility? But they both worked, worked, and worked as hard as they could to do something with what God had given them. It's Labor Day this weekend. We're going to be talking about work a lot. It's the day we celebrate all the laborers, all the workers throughout our great nation. It's a day to celebrate the work that's done. And our government does that great. Everybody gets a day off for the most part. We are celebrated well by our state. But how do we celebrate work in the church? I think we celebrate work by following this parable. While waiting for God, we work. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. But the way we work is so very important. And doing work now while we wait for things to get back into motion is so very important. And God celebrates that work of each of us when we reach the end. When Jesus does come back, that work will be celebrated. We all long to hear the phrase, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. That is the celebration that waits for us and all of our hard work that we're doing right now. Now, you might be wondering, what work can I do while I wait? There's so much you can do. Just as God gave bags of gold in the story to the servants, God has given you so much to work with. Each of us have gifts that we can use, gifts that God has given us to use for God's work here on this earth. Everybody has things they like to do. Everybody has things they are passionate about. Everybody has things that bring them joy and happiness. Everybody has something they find interesting or just delightful. Everybody has habits they enjoy. Everybody has something they're talented at or something they're good at. You don't have to be the best at it, but you're better at it than other things. Everybody has something that God has given them. Today, I want to invite you, use the things that God has given you, your talents, your passion, your habits, the things that give you joy. Use them to work for God today. Use them to bring about a little bit of the kingdom of love and light and spread love and light to anybody you interact with. And I invite you, as we wait for Jesus to return and your work to be celebrated, imagine what would happen if Jesus was going to come back tomorrow. What would you do if Jesus was coming back tomorrow? How would you work? Would your life change? Would you keep working the same way you are now? Or would you do something drastically different? I invite you, really think and reflect on how you are using your gifts that God has given you. And work today. Do something out of love today with your passions, your desires, your thoughts, and your prayers. Do something out of love and know that when you do, you will hear the phrase, 
Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter the joy of your master. Amen. Our prayer requests today that I want to offer up to each of you are these. Tammy McCauley is feeling a bit better. Her last uh, procedure seems to have gone well, and while not everything is permanently fixed, she is definitely feeling better and in less pain. So praise be to God for that. As well, Madeline Wolf is still in the hospital, as far as I know. Please keep her and her whole family in your prayers. Please keep the family of uh, Caden Gould in your prayers uh, as he has passed on uh, into the next life of God. As well, continue to keep Irene Healy in your prayers as she is still sick, and keep the family of Vic Schaefer in your prayers as well. Won't you pray with me? Almighty God, through us you have done so much work on this planet. God, for those of us whose work has ended, bring us all the comfort of knowing that they have heard the phrase, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. For you, God, have given each of us talents and gifts, and you, God, have led us in the way to use them. God, lead us again today and how to use your talents and gifts to reach out for all the people, to all the people we lifted up in our prayer requests. Teach us again today how to use our interests and our desires and our joy and our passion to serve these people in our midst and to do your work here in our family of our church. And thank you, God, for we know the day is coming when all pain will cease, when all tears will no longer flow, and when we will have smiles and laughter on our face again. God, may that day come soon. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who brings the new day that turns to noonday brawning, noonday shining. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me for worship. I'm happy you could be here with me today. If you want to hear more about Jesus' second coming and what it means for us now, come and join us on Sunday. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.